Folks, it is Monday morning, and for the last two Monday mornings, Andy has refused to go to school. But this morning, we are hopeful. It's the last Monday of term. He knows he's only got to go in today and tomorrow, and he knows we've got exciting stuff planned for later in the week. So fingers crossed, in about five minutes, we're going to be loading into the car, going off to school, breaking that habit from the last couple of weeks and finishing off term the right way. I'm also due to be back at the gym today after getting the all clear last week, so kinda need the day to go to plan in order for, to slot that in, although to be fair, I'm gonna be going throughout the summer holidays anyway, so him being here doesn't necessarily rule me out of that, or it does mean I won't be here for an hour to help Hannah with enforcing the rules we put in place if he does skip out, but I don't think he's gonna skip. I think we're gonna be fine. I hope we're gonna be fine. We've got to paint his bathroom at some point as well, and we can't do that when he's here. So we've got today and tomorrow to do that. So fingers crossed, the next shot you see is me and Anna back home, having dropped him off at school, and positivity and happiness throughout. It's a really hot day. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just sweat sweating sitting here. It's, it's been like 30 degrees in England the last couple of days. I can't cope with it. I hope the gym's got air conditioning. Open it. It's on. Yes. Success. Success. He went. We broke the cycle after two successive Mondays. On the last Monday of term, he has gone to school. He did tell us as we were leaving that it's Thursday and Friday, not Monday and Tuesday, because he knows he's got Monday, Tuesday, and then school holidays. So in his head, that means today is Thursday, even though it's Monday. So it might be that that's why he's gone, because he thinks it's Thursday. But either way, we got him in on a Monday, which means when we come around to September, it's not a habit that he doesn't go on Mondays which is awesome. We haven't gone straight home though, because just as we were leaving, Anna said, all innocently, are we going anywhere after dropping him off? And I was like, <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm going to the gym, we're coming straight home. And then what did you say? I want Iceland. So we've come to Iceland, or in fact, it's not called Iceland, the food warehouse. Uh, is that formerly known as Iceland? I or is don't it, know, I, but it's too hot. Yeah, so we're going to get out of the car and go and buy some ice lollies and some of Andy's favourite frozen burger buns <laughs> in the shop formerly known as Iceland or different brand of Iceland. It's up to 50% off, whatever that is. Ooh. Do you want one? No, I don't like stuff puppy. Put me a stuffed puppy ice cream. I took his popcorn ice cream. Nice. It's the first time we've ever been here and not had to buy one of these. All the old sweets have been made into lollies. Which of course means we've got a few. That's quite the uh, selection of ice lollies. We're now in a race against time, boys and girls, because we are stuck in traffic on the way home with a bag full of frozen food in the back of the car and it's already nearly 30 degrees outside. It's like you Freedom Day. I know. Everyone, I guess everyone's gone back to work today. The traffic's been terrible both directions, to and from Andy's school to Iceland. It's rubbish. We successfully made it home without stuff melting, although my drumsticks, squashums lollies, were a bit squishy. I don't know if they're supposed to be a bit squishy, yeah. but everything else was still adequately frozen. And no sooner... Are you burping on, vog, on the vlog again? It. I don't know why. She's a monster. Um, no sooner had we made it home, I haven't even been to the gym yet, the, the doorbell rang. A parcel has arrived. Would you like to show us the parcel, Anna? <laughs> show it properly. That's Goodness me. A display thing. Kevin's birthday. I picked one and then I'll let him pick. Yeah, so this is the other half of my birthday present. And you got another one for yourself as well, because you're a monster. Not a monster. I wanted <laughs> another one. Because your previous one is up there. That one's mine. What is that? It's from Grand um, Fantasy. Okay. Is there a good one in there as well? No. It's Spider Man! Excellent! <laughs> Look at that, that is awesome! I didn't actually select this until 
the Sunday evening after my birthday because there were two options that I had depending on what happened in the final of the Euros because they had a Gareth Southgate one as well and I was going to get a Gareth Southgate one if we won the Euros but we didn't so I'm afraid Spider-Man is still better than Gareth Southgate currently I am willing to re review that decision after the 2022 World Cup final well here we go then folks after what's it been two months at least two months I am back at the gym. Oh, got a sweat on now. I'm not sure how much of it is the workout and how much of it is just how ridiculously hot it is. But gym complete and no chest pains or keeling over, which is a definite bonus. Well, I made it home, had to solve a crisis for Anna, who actually phoned me while I was on the treadmill asking me for assistance. It's assistance has now been provided. So she's now gonna be streaming a little later than advertised, 25 past 11 rather than 11, which means I need to go and sit in my air conditioned office, cool off, and then probably do some work of my own because half the day is already gone. I'm achy. Every part of me aches. Going to the gym was a bad idea. Oh, and it's so hot again. Anna's got a face spraying thing, which is, um, Pretty good unless you're a glasses wearer. Now I need some windscreen wipers. It is, do we even know what temperature it is? Oh, we can have a look. It was, with the air conditioning on in my 31. office, it was 24, 20, 31 degrees. <laughs> this is why I can't really be streaming at the moment because- I just did. Yeah, but you can, you can have a big wide door open and a fan on and- You can have a window open, have it? Yeah. Oh, it's too hot. Plus the heat beats into my office. Yeah, I think we've already shown that. Yeah, we're on the wall. There you go. Anna's put hers up on the wall. I haven't put mine up yet because I've been busy, 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 busy. <laughs> I see. Uh, it's already pretty much two o'clock. So it feels like no sooner have we got back and got, I mean, we've both done a couple of hours work and that's it. And we've got to go and get him again. And then it's one more day for the next six weeks. I don't know how we're going to fit work in. We might just have but to. He's, he's do you want to get some lottery tickets? So we'd have to work for the next few weeks. He's quite content though. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I need to find my shoes. I need to put the, this um, one's not content. This one's hot. He was asleep and his One tail, week until his haircut His now. tail was wagging so hard and he was asleep. <laughs> I tried to get it on camera. But... Yeah, we've been waiting for his haircut for so long. Or he's been waiting just as long. He's gonna be Finally, pink. next week. Yeah, but he's yeah. going to be so short we're going to have to put sun cream on him or something. Right, I need to go and shoes and I things we've got to go and get Andy. No! Where are your children gone? Uh, 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 Dave keeps we'll unplugging the fan. Every time he walks past it, the, the thing pulls out the back of the fan. Um, Andy is dressed appropriately for the occasion. <laughs> hey! Um, that, in that box there. Oh, you're getting your, you're showing us your ball. Very good, bouncing. I'll tell you what's in that box when I'm back in there shortly. If you already watched Anna's stream today, you already know what's in that box, but can't say in front of uh, the soon to be birthday boy who only has one more day left at school. No reaction, he's that engrossed in the night garden. Um, I'm supposed to be doing some work. I'm supposed to be streaming. I need to record a video, an I intro for a different video. You did stream. It is currently 26 degrees in my office, even with the aircon on. When, before I turned the aircon on, when we got back from school, it was, it was it over was 30 degrees in there. Oh it is him. just so hot. There's not a chance I can stream. I streamed! <laughs> you can stream. You've got a big, cool, airy room. So I'm in a cupboard that is oh always gosh. hotter. Bear in mind, all winter I had the radiator off in there. I never had the heating Why? on in that room all winter because of the amount of tech in there, the lights, the computers. That Three. room is always hotter than the rest of the house Four. and outside. It's unbearably Five. warm. Six. Apparently Seven. we're counting pontifines, are they? Eight. There were eight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I don't know what I'm going to do. I think my plan is, and it's not the best plan one, in the world, but I've only got to do two, one more day of it. One moment. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
Eight. What are we counting? Oh, it's going home. Oh, is it the pointy pines or the other ones? What are you counting, oh, Andy? Oh, the home time bell. Elvis. There's no interacting with him. Dave, in. He's just going through his normal scripts. Dave, come on. Dave barks every time the neighbours go in their garden, but we can't have the door <laughs> shut. Because <laughs> we'll melt. Yeah. Um, yeah. What I was trying to say, my plan for work, because the weather's home. going to be like this all week, apparently. Yeah, Dave, I know. You were on <laughs> the camera earlier. You don't need to force your way in. I think my plan for the week is no streaming until the... No. What have I told you about this that? Is so the, the PS5. The TV. <laughs> or I'll have um, your TV. Stop it. Uh, so my plan, I think, for the rest of the week while it's this hot, is just try and stay cool during the day, not making videos during the day, not streaming at all. And then when the sun goes down and the temperature drops a little bit, I'm going to make my videos in the evening because at least then I only have to have the AC off for the 10, 15 minute chunks that I record the videos in. So I can do 10 or 15 minutes, cool down again, do another 10 or 15 minutes and get my videos recorded after dark which obviously when I've got to be up super early tomorrow is not great. <clears throat> one more day. Yeah, as Anna says, one more day for the rest of the week. Um, I could get up a little bit later if need be to make that work. But what I need is for the, I mean, if the weather drops down to Where 24, 25 ish, children? it's fine. I can manage that temperature. That's Friday. Yeah, it's just when it's in the thirties. I cannot sit in that room for three hours sweating and I can't sit in there streaming with the aircon on because it's, Hideously loud. Leave your nose alone. Ah, stupid Leave weather. Right, Andy's finished watching his programmes and gone to bed, which means we can he now. Gone to bed. Oh, his bedroom. <laughs> he said going to bed when he went upstairs, so we can now show you what was in the big box. Um, it's half the size of what was actually the size yeah, of the you box. This panic me. Yeah, well, look at the size of the box. This is the screen protector we've got for Andy's new TV because we decided to get one of these rather than the six hundred pound ah, cabinet. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> because oh. spending £600, 800. Was it 800? Yeah. spending £800 on a cabinet to protect a £120 TV seemed dumb. Um, so what we've actually done is spent £60 on something. You've been emailing back and forth with the manufacturer of this, haven't you? I was just asking sizes. Right there. So this is a this, thing. It's just protective. Yeah, Covering. so it's a piece of Perspex that is going to be strapped to the back of the TV. And he's going to be told, Dave, come out the way a minute. Let's have a look at it. Get your head down. Yeah, it's got two. Right, hold it up. So the pers there's a piece of Perspex and then the straps that go back on the back of the TV. What we're going to be saying to him is if he removes that from the TV, the TV then comes out of his room for a week if he removes it. Because he does have a bit of a thing. It says with the right care, this item will protect your TV for years to come. Excellent. Because he does have a bit of a history of removing screen protectors from iPads and phones and things but it's going to be very simple if he removes the screen protector it will be clear don't worry yeah. just peeling it off to make sure it's clear um well I got the one for that TV which was the right size but because of the way the legs are can't fit it on there but yeah it's just that's yeah so he's if he removes it he loses the TV for a week and we've also been telling him and we will keep I keep emphasising this point that if he does smash the new TV, he's never getting another one. He is. We've been talking to him for a month that the new TV is his last TV. He knows it is the last TV we're going to get him, and um, he can't smash it. He's talking about smashing a lot. Hopefully, you know, I'm not going to smash weight. He was just talking about not smashing this TV in here, yeah. for example. Excuse me. Can you stop burping on I camera? Can't help it. It just happens. What is wrong with you? If you were in public, you wouldn't do it. I think she forgets that the camera's rolling. Um, yeah, so how much was this? £60? Pounds? Yeah. Was it on Amazon or is it somewhere else? Do you know the name of the company? Because people will ask. So Not it's easier to just tell them now. Um, um, excuse me. Can you dig it out? And then I'll just let people know in a second. Because you're going to ask, aren't you? And <laughs> I'm just it's just easier for me to tell you now so that I don't have to reply a gazillion times saying the same thing in the comments. And after some quick searching for emails, the company is 
you probably could have figured this one out. <laughs> Thescreenprotector.co.uk. This isn't an ad, this isn't an affiliate link or anything, but if you want one, I don't even know if they're good yet. We can't vouch for them until it's been up for a few weeks and we know if it's working, but we've told you where it's from now. Boys and girls, I need your help with a pickle that we've got. This structure just here is where all of the bins, all of those flats are. Bins right next to our back door that needs to be open all the time because it's super hot. Stupid hot, super hot, stupid hot. The problem we've got is as soon as we come in the house, both in the living room and the kitchen, which is directly above us with open windows, there's just flies everywhere because they're coming off those bins and into the house. And now they've got as far as the front door by coming in through here. And I don't know what we can do about it. Our bins are far away. <laughs> so there's nothing we can do about other people's bins. And we can't expect them to do anything about it because, you know, they're that's bins, right, that's what yeah. they're for. Yeah. But what can we do to stop the flies coming in this door and that window and then our bedrooms on the next floor up? So the three places I want flies the, the least are the three that they're constantly coming through. And it's doing my head in. And I don't want to have to have those dangly wax strips from the ceiling. And I want to get one of those kebab shops. <laughs> to go above the <laughs> go above the door but that seems excessive i don't want to be sat here all day just saying <laughs> i don't know what to do if you've got any ideas let us know because i imagine as the week goes on it's only going to get worse all i've done is take the recycling out and i am a sweaty sweaty mess so i'm now sat here fan pointing at me from one side aircon pointing at me from the other side and this will be me now it's half seven I'm going to be sat here for the next hour and a half or so, probably editing this video, maybe playing a little bit of Minecraft. And then as soon as the sun goes down and the temperature drops a little bit, it is currently 26 degrees in here still. As soon as that gets down to 22, 23, I can get today's Football Manager videos recorded. It's going to be a late one. Fingers crossed we don't have to carry on with this for very long. And, oh look, I haven't shown you that. Work in progress, I've got more shelves on the way and some blue tack, they are going to be coming out of the boxes. We're getting there with the office, I just need more storage space, but that's a story for another day. We'll see you again soon, folks.